up guys welcome back to the youtube channel we're down here at fayetteville motorsports park it's sunday afternoon it is a beautiful day it's a little windy so i'm gonna do this in the trailer i'm gonna try to do most of my filming in the trailer unless the wind calms down that way we don't have as much wind noise but i apologize in advance if we get a lot of wind noise digger die was canceled so we didn't get a good racing but we today ended up being a beautiful day so we're down here at fayetteville motorsports park again and we're going to make some testing Luckily, we saw the weather was going to come, and we were planning on switching this thing over to the back of the track, but they made the call on Wednesday that it wasn't going to happen, so I didn't actually get this thing switched over, which is good. So it's still in front of the track trim. We're going to try to go a little bit faster than what we did when we were at Galat last week. We had a misfire issue on the top of the track. It made a lot of boost. It made 40 pounds of boost, and my plugs are a little old. So anytime you have old plugs or you, the gap's a little wide, sometimes it'll misfire. So I think that's all it is. I'm hoping that's all it is. But here we go, guys. Check it out. We're going to push it out and change the plugs. I'm going to show you the old plugs. They got a lot of fasteners on them. But we're going to have fun today. It's going to be a good time. Comment, like, and subscribe. If y'all want to support the channel, head on over to TurboJohnRacing.com. Grab yourself some hats and t-shirts. If y'all want to get entered to win the front wheel off the wreck Mustang, buy the Turbo Keychain. Thanks, guys. Alright guys, so we got the plugs out. I'm gonna show you the plugs. Randy just got down here. Randy, you having fun? Oh yes sir. This is what we do. Alright, fun, nice day. It's kinda cool. A little chilly, a little chilly today, a little bit of wind, but I think we have a tailwind today. So if we go personal best, we're gonna say it's because we got a tailwind. So <laughs> look at these plugs. So <laughs> these plugs are kind of beat up. I told y'all they were beat up. It's been a while since we have changed the plugs. That number one, see how that ooh, about drops off and drop them off. Uh, that number one plug, see how it's got the cadmium still shining on the base ring. That is generally what we look for. That's probably a little bit on the fat side, but all of them are a little sooty. And we, we do run, in the methanol, we run a lubricant, a top fuel. We run a top end of lubricant. So it's a little bit of oil. Some of these are a little oilier than I would have think the other ones, but basically what happens is um, all the gaps look pretty good. I don't see anything in the gaps. None of them are excessive, but essentially what happens when you have a spark plug, the spark jumps from that electrode, right? It jumps from the electrode in the middle. It goes out to the ground strap. And so like that plug right there, see how shiny it is? That means it's got oil coating on it. And so when you have oil coating on that plug, then it goes through the electrode down through the porcelain and it's not able to jump the gap anymore. Uh, or maybe it jumps it very weakly. So that's how you have a plug out and that's what happens. So uh, Randy's over there now, we're gonna gap the plugs. Uh, we'll gap them at, uh, we, we use a 12, we usually gap them at 14. We use a 12 for the filler gauge and then it'll spring back a little bit. And then Randy's using the, the little Amazon gauge here. Basically you just stick it down in there. That's in there and then you're good to go so that's how you got the plug so we're gonna gap them luckily these are really easy to get in and out we've had the oil heater uh running for a while so the oil is coming up so we are definitely going it's gonna be a brake clean baby today i promise All right, guys, well, we got new plugs in it. Randy gapped those up. Um, a lot of cars starting to come in. Got 98 Saline down there. If y'all follow him on YouTube, go check him out. Ryan is down here. Michael's over there. All these guys doing some no prep stuff. Michael car, he's always on our, our channel. He's one of our channel members, so we get to talk to him all the time on our live chats on Wednesday nights. So that's really cool that he's out here. It's a big nitrous motor over there. 
let's try to get some videos of these guys today as well uh, not just my car so hopefully it works out okay well we're about to warm this thing up it's cold so we are going to brake clean it and basically get flammable brake clean we'll squirt two to three seconds down in the turbo but then i'll also squirt a little bit into a vacuum line let's get this thing cranked up guys here we go what's up sir you see here we go we're down here building us down here taking some pictures so this is Fayetteville tracks looking good how you doing sir yeah it's pretty sticky we're gonna see if we can go first on best track temperature is coming up how are you sir Which lane we'll get in left or right in here? It's a little, little sticky, but that's fine. That's okay. All right, here we go. We're ready to go make our first pass. Let's go.
Hi right, guys, well we are finally done. I just ate me a hot dog and some french fries. I was hungry. We are now about to go make our first pass. So here we go, let's go. We're also gonna go live for this. So if y'all want to cut out from this video, go to the live video. You're gonna see the same pass, but it's gonna be a little bit different perspective. Hang on. So yeah. cold. Yes, sir, we're ready.
so we just made that pass. If y'all did not see the live and y'all want to see, we had like a 45 minute live making one pass. But we were hanging out, getting up there, getting to up there, making the pass, coming back and looking at the data log. I reviewed all the data log stuff. Uh, it did go a 125, 60 foot, a 485 at 156, uh, 770 something and a quarter mile. We didn't make it, uh, we let off at 5.3. Randy, I chicken footed it, 5.3 seconds. Randy said, you gotta make a quarter mile pass. I didn't do it. I did not make a quarter mile pass. Uh, well, I guess I did. I did go a quarter mile. I actually, I went a half mile. I made, that was my first half mile pass. I went a half mile, not under power. Not under power. And I did not throw the parachute. Uh, so uh, everything went good though. It felt good. The only problem I had is, and this is a problem we had last time, but we forgot to address it. The, I couldn't see with the sun where it's at. This dash is uh, it's sheet metal dash and I painted it with a flat, but it's not really flat. I might have put carpet on it because it is so reflective. I can't see, uh, really had a hard time seeing. Uh, we're gonna pull a couple plugs. We put brand new plugs in it. I ain't gonna pull them all. I'm gonna just pull a couple and we're gonna see what it did. It did make 40 pounds of boost. Uh, we had 22 degrees of timing in, I think it was. Air fuel was like three, three or so. So it should be nice and safe. But let's pull these plugs. I'll show you what they look like. Just gonna pull a couple. And so we just pulled the plug out. This is the number six plug. Two, four, six is easy to get to. This is real close to a perfect plug, in my opinion. You can see the timing mark starting to come right there. But if you look, the cadmium on the base ring, camera is hard to pick it up, but it is still nice and shiny. So that plug is super safe, usually. So what that means is we could probably lean this thing out. And I was looking back at old data logs at that kind of boost level where I'm at, previously, I have been at 3.8 air fuel ratio, 3.7. Uh, and I know it makes a difference with, with what heads are on the car, but that right there was a 3.3 air fuel ratio and man, it is nice and safe. Okay, let's pull, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull one more on this side and then I'm gonna pull one more on the other side. If they look significantly different than this, then I'll show you if they look similar, then that'll be it. guys so i just wanted to show you i did end up pulling all the plugs out on the passenger side and they look really good as well and these are the plugs from the driver side one three five and seven and just for reference those are the bolt plugs on the other side but you can see now this is only one pass but our timing and everything looks pretty consistent on these you can starting to see the line right there is a perfect example and these are pretty good now that number seven right there i might have to look at it a little bit closer it looks like it may have a little bit more time in but fueling wise you can see that they are all all the cadmium is still there so they're a little on the fat side but fat safe so very 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 happy with my plugs on how they're looking at the moment mod when you're doing the burnouts. Oh, yeah. That's about it. It's a turn, They run good? Halfway decent? No, they went slower on nitrous than I did on motor. I wonder why in the world. I pulled, oh, pulled too much. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. That's why I saw you purge it, and I was like, well, I guess he has sprayed it. When I left the second gear as well. Second gear. I got gotcha. you. You're going to make a couple more? I'm going to at least make one more. I got gotcha. you. This thing, he's been doing no prep with it. it he's changed combinations a couple times. But this thing is pretty radical. He's all he's on our Wednesday night live chats all the time. I appreciate him doing that. That's always fun. Man, that thing sounds wild doing a burnout. It is radical. I, how big is the motor? 465. Man, that thing sounds good. I like it. This is a cool looking car, man. It looks good. It's working good. He's doing no prep, so he's just getting started. 
You ain't you've only been doing no prep stuff a lot for six months? Yeah. Ish. So he's doing front side and back side nitrous. He, were you turbo or blower before? Neither. Neither. Always it's always nitrous. nitrous. Nitrous, okay, nitrous big block, nice. Not oh, it's a computer. Oh, it's a computer. Oh, computer. Oh, it's a computer. Oh, good thing it's Dude, I mine blew off the car just like that, and but mine destroyed itself. Oh my god, look, it's my fault. It's a jinx. Look, you need okay. I just got one for mine. It's a, a one of those pads so that it don't slide off. Yeah, so I just started using it today. Are you tired of your laptop sliding off your car? I was too. Go to turbojohnracing.com to grab yourself your laptop pad. Wow, I'm glad that didn't break. I was trying to catch it. Tunes loaded is fine. All right, be careful. Good luck. We'll see you Wednesday night. Later. All right, guys. Well, after much consideration, Randy has removed the door. Randy, what what's happening? Why why did you remove the door in such a fashion? You can't see. Take no chance. I can't see. He's right. The, that first pass, honestly, that first pass, I probably shouldn't even let go of the trans brake button, but I did. Uh, and uh, I mean, I could kind of see, but I couldn't really see. Chalk it up. We got lucky and yeah. we done it. It is just the way that dash is. And I, I, I complained about it a little bit last time we were here, but I could still see some. But today, for some reason, it was just, it was all in my vision and it was not. It was not happy at all. I need to get me another one of these visors as well. Uh, I don't even know what kind of helmet this is. I need to figure out what kind of helmet that is so that I can get another visor because it is all scraped up. Um, so it make it a little bit better. But yeah, I guess we're done for the day. Uh, we pulled all the plugs. All the plugs look spiffy. Uh, very, very happy with the way the plugs turn out. Uh, if I can make Randy's look like that, I would be super excited. So we're working on his. Uh, I mean, it's just... I think it's got to do with that MSD 600. Just so much spark energy, which that's good. But I mean, we're at a lot of fuel going to it. We're also going to take some timing out of his, but his will be out soon. I'll give y'all an update on his. I'll be going down to Wilmington someday this week. So hopefully uh, everything will be working out. We'll be testing his within the next little while. So here we go, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, sorry it was only one pass, but it's just one of those things I, I just really can't see i mean if we stud if we they're supposed to close at 5 5 30 i mean if we waited for a while then we could for sure see but i mean there's no need in waiting around two hours you know it just is what it is the car's running good we got a lot of racing to do with it so there's no need to go uh beat on it just to be beaten on it but very happy with the pass today very happy with the tune appreciate it guys comment like and subscribe if y'all want to support the channel, head to turbojohnracing.com, grab yourself some hats and t-shirts. If y'all want to get entered to win that front wheel that we're giving away off the crashed car, go grab yourself a turbo keychain. Appreciate it, guys.